everyone, happy Pride. Today we're crocheting Pride Mushrooms. The one you see in front of me right now is actually the prototype, but I'll be showing you the Pride one in just a minute. I don't have this as a tutorial, but I'll have the link to the pattern down below. But if you do want to make this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need scissors, a tapestry needle, cardboard, stitch markers, crochet hooks in sizes 5 and 4.5, fluff, and I'm a trans man and chose the pride flag as my yarn color. Last, but certainly not least, I'm putting a rose quartz inside to represent self-love for Pride Month. So the reason why I wanted to do pride mushrooms is because I started crocheting in I think 2021, and my friend slash roommate actually knows how to crochet, and I asked what could I make to start crocheting, and she suggested something easy, and I found a mushroom pattern, it's not this one. But um, yeah, I started crocheting with a mushroom, so I wanted to do pray mushrooms for this video. I thought it'd be fitting to make the first crochet video on this channel mushrooms, since it was the first thing I learned to make. You'll see me use the cardboard for inside the mushroom, that's to stabilize it. You can use other things, I've used like BBs before to weigh down the mushroom, but if you want to make sure it stands and like stays in place, use a piece of cardboard and just sew it in. It's pretty easy. I use a little rose quartz inside of it because it's going to go on my altar and I like to practice self-love and I thought for pride it'd be perfect to do a rose quartz. Look, my husband gave me some kisses. I also decided to work this bottom from top. So I started with the base which was the easiest and then I did the little semi-circles and little circles for like the little, <laughs> for like little mushroom circles. I don't know what you quite call those. But yeah, I did those in pink, I did the base in white and then the top will be in blue. Whenever I started crocheting the prototype, I had a hard time deciding how to do the top because I did the base first and then I did the circles because I like doing my longer crochets for last. I hated it whenever I finished doing a long round of crochet. And then I have like, like little dinky little crochets too. I just hate that. So I did the little semi-circles in the middle. But I struggled with the top and then I decided to do what I would call, it wasn't meant to be a witch's hat, but it ended up looking like a witch's hat. So I'm pretty excited about the top in general because it looks like a little mushroom with a little witch hat and that's on brand for this channel.
So as I said earlier, the link to the pattern itself will be in the description, but I do think this is better for like an intermediate beginner. The top just gets a little bit weird, so if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Or please let me know if you just tried out the pattern, because I'm curious to see, because I would like that, because I think this pattern was a lot of fun to do. So I would really enjoy it if people tried it and let me know. So here's the mushroom finish, and I think it came out really cute. 
And yeah, this was really fun to make and I really like how it looks in the pride colors. Um, initially I did want to do more pride flag colors, but it just didn't work out, but maybe next year. But I'm really happy with the trans pride one because it represents me. And I think the little prototype also came out cute, so that one's going to go on the altar as well. If you did end up trying out the pattern, please let me know below, or please let me know if you just like the vibes of this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and my links to my socials are below in the description box below. If you're part of the LGBTQA plus community, I hope you're having a good month. And even if you're not, I hope you have a good month anyway, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye.